Alright, y'all see what we got going on here today. Now today's video is dealing with your boy Honeycomb Brazy and Birdman. Now check this out, everybody already know that Honeycomb Brazy, he just got arrested again. Over a list of charges, I ain't got a name, cause y'all can just look him up. Yeah man, your boy Honeycomb Brazy, he wasn't out for barely two months before the feds then caught back up with him. Now a lot of people believe that Jay Prince, yeah man, Jay Prince, the CEO of Rap-A-Lot, was the one who gave the feds Honeycomb Brazy Eddie. Now, a lot of people don't believe it, but some people believe that's true. And the reason why, because if y'all don't know, Honeycomb Brazy, he has left Rap-A-Lot. Honeycomb Brazy, he dropped Rap-A-Lot as soon as he got out the feds. Now, the thing is, Jay Prince told Honeycomb Brazy he just can't leave Rap-A-Lot like that because he still got one album remaining on his contract. Now, based on that, right, that's where your boy Birdman come in the picture because he was the one that got Honeycomb Brazy out of his contract with Jay Prince. Now, a lot of people want to know, how did Birdman make that happen? Because Birdman, he basically let Jay Prince know, I'm about to buy Honeycomb Brazy out of his contract that he got with you because he don't want you being his CEO no more. He don't want to be under your label no more. And the reason why, because a lot of people seen how Jay Prince treated Honeycomb Brazy while he was in the feds. See, when Honeycomb Brazy was behind the wall, the only thing he wanted Jay Prince to do was put out music for him so his fans could know that he still got music in rotation and he'll be home soon. But Jay Prince, he ain't do none of that. And that's around the same time that Honeycomb Brazy, he sent his people to talk to Jay Prince to let him know that Honeycomb Brazy, he's really trying to get some music put out there so his fans could know that he ain't went nowhere. And matter of fact, Honeycomb Brazy, he also told Finesse Two Times the same thing. But it seemed like Jay Prince and Finesse Two Times, they left Honeycomb Brazy hanging out to dry. And that's something that Honeycomb Brazy didn't respect about Finesse Two Times or Jay Prince. So that's the reason why once Honeycomb Brazy came home, he took off spinning. He took off doing his own thing on his own time. But again, he was limited on putting out music because a lot of the music that he wanted to put out was recorded when he was still under rap a lot. So what I'm saying is, Jay Prince would not give Honeycomb Brazy some of his unreleased music that he recorded at a rap a lot studio. Now, a lot of people that's affiliated with Honeycomb Brazy, they feel like Jay Prince has been basically hating on Honeycomb Brazy because he's now under Birdman label. Now, some people want to know, why do Jay Prince got an issue with Birdman managing Honeycomb Brazy because if y'all don't know Jay Prince and Birdman they issue started a long time ago basically over Drake because when Drake came to the scene a lot of people gave credit to Birdman for discovering Drake and that's when Jay Prince came out to let it be known that it was actually his son Jazz who discovered Drake it was Jazz who took a trip out to Canada and seen the new youngster that was popping on the scene whom was Drake and that's when Jazz brought Drake to Jay Prince. That's the reason why for a small period of time, Drake, he was always hanging around Jazz Prince. He was under rap a lot, by the way of my ties. Matter of fact, Drake, he was one of the first artists to be signed to my ties. But I brought that up to let y'all know, that's where the issue started at between Jay Prince and Birdman. Now fast forward to present time, dealing with your boy Honeycomb Brazy. We all know that Honeycomb Brazy, again, he out here popping. He out here popping by himself without Jay Prince. And again, that's something that Jay Prince don't like because he felt like he was the one that took Honeycomb Brazy out of the situation that he was going through in Alabama where some guys wanted him sent up. And Jay Prince, he got this situation handled for him. So that's the reason why Jay Prince feel like Honeycomb Brazy only one, which is the reason why Finesse Two Times is loyal to Jay Prince because Jay Prince got Finesse Two Times out of his situation that he was going through in Memphis where Finesse Two Times told Jay Prince he couldn't go back to Memphis because it's an OG out there that's trying to take him out. So what does Jay Prince do? He had his son Jay Prince Jr. go and pick up Finesse Two Times when he was just getting released from the feds. And that's the same day that Finesse Two Times signed a deal with rap a lot but managed by mob ties. And the reason why I brought that up because when Finesse Two Times started doing his thing, Honeycomb Brazy, he was trying to get in contact with him to let him know, hey, my guy, 
remember what you told me before you got out the feds? That if I did that deal for you by linking you up with the old man Jay Prince, then you will put out some music for me. And I know a lot of people want to know, how can Finesse Two Times make that happen? Well, Honeycomb Brazy was just asking Finesse Two Times to put him on one of his songs as a feature. Where if Finesse Two Times was in a position to get a song from Jay Prince that Honeycomb Brazy had recorded at a rap -a studio. And that's what Honeycomb Brazy was trying to tell Finesse Two Times. Hey, talk with the old man Jay Prince. Let him know. I need my fans to know that I'm still making music. Because I'm behind the wall at this time, doesn't mean I'm still not on the grind. And Honeycomb Brazy knew the only way he could let his fans know that he's still present and putting out music is through Finesse Two Times and Jay Prince. Because they were the main ones that told Honeycomb Brazy that they would have his back. But at the same time, we all seen what happened with that. Honeycomb Brazy, he felt like Finesse Two Times or Jay Prince the Pops, they wasn't loyal. They wasn't standing on their word like they told him. And that's why Honeycomb Brazy, he went ahead and talk with Birdman. Or should I say Birdman, he pulled up on Honeycomb Brazy when Honeycomb Brazy was in Alabama. He found himself more interested in Honeycomb Brazy's rap career because he seen the moves that Honeycomb Brazy was making by himself. And by Birdman being in the rap game for a long time, he felt he could bring some type of order to Honeycomb Brazy's rap career. Plus, we all know that Honeycomb Brazy, he is one of the most popular rappers on social media right now. I mean, every time you look up, somebody talking about Honeycomb Brazy, either his past or what he doing in present time. So that's another reason why Birdman, he felt it'd be a good idea to link up with Honeycomb Brazy. But again, this video is based on your boy Birdman finding out that Jay Prince informed the Alphabet Boys about Honeycomb Brazy whereabouts. See, a lot of people already know that Jay Prince, he's tied to the Alphabet Boys. That's the reason why anytime his sons went through a situation where somebody got sent up, aka Takeoff and Duke the Jeweler. Matter of fact, I want to say rest in peace to those guys. And while y'all at it, go ahead and put those rockets in the comments for Takeoff and put those gold links in the comments for Duke the Jeweler. They never got arrested or even questioned behind what really happened to those guys while they was under the mob ties watch in H-Town. So that should let y'all know what type of connections that Jay Prince really has. See, everybody that's familiar with Jay Prince, they'll tell you, if you ain't on his side down the ride, then he gonna tell his guys whom is the Alphabet Boys. And this ain't the first time something like this didn't happen, especially when it comes to your boy Honeycomb Brazy. Because I'ma let y'all know about a situation that happened in the past between Jay Prince and Honeycomb Brazy. See, when Honeycomb Brazy went back to the feds for parole violation, he was doing a lot of back and forth calling, trying to get in contact with Jay Prince. Again, that's around the same time he was trying to let Jay Prince know, hey, I need you to put out some music for me because my fans, they've been waiting for it. But since Jay Prince ignored what Honeycomb Brazy was saying, that's when Honeycomb Brazy started going live, talking down about Jay Prince and his sons, calling his sons a bunch of lames and goofies. And that's the reason why he never found himself being associated to the mob ties because they lame anyway. And everything that Honeycomb Brazy said, Jay Prince, he got word of it. And guess what Jay Prince did? He ended up getting in contact with the ward that was over the facility that Honeycomb Brazy was in. And word is, Jay Prince, he informed the ward to put Honeycomb Brazy in a hole. And I'm telling y'all, a lot of folks that's affiliated with Honeycomb Brazy, they already know this. That's the reason why anybody that's on Honeycomb Brazy team, they don't mess with rap a lot or Jay Prince Jr. mob ties. And dealing with that, we already know how Honeycomb Brazy feel about finesse two times. But I just want to say, if Jay Prince did make that call to get your boy Honeycomb Brazy back behind the wall, then that was a bogus move, my guy. That's real talk, man. I know you jealous of the moves that Honeycomb Brazy is making by himself, but that's what he had to do. Because y'all put his back against the wall once y'all won't put out the music that he was telling y'all to put out for him. That's the reason why Honeycomb Brazy, he got to change how he moved and the people he's surrounded by. Now the thing is, I don't believe Honeycomb Brazy realized how much the Alphabet Boys is really watching him. Man, I'm talking about they watching every video and every move that he make. Especially since all eyes is on him at this time. So with that, always be aware and always stay prepared. 
But hey, we get more in store. As always, y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it's worth. Let's get this merch. Subscribe to the PDH Network.